It starts in the early mornings, the sun just barely emerging from beneath the horizon. I set out my bike. The air is wet, the leaves of trees glisten with pearls of morning dew. I can feel the delicate stems of budding beginnings sprouting from the earth. Beneath me, the spoked wheels whirl in perfect circular rhythm, delicate yet strong, like strands of a spider's web. As I glide around corners, the gentle breeze sweeps the hair from my face and dries the beads of sweat collecting at the creases of my eyes. I turn my focus to the hue of the sky and watch the clouds chase the east. I daydream. I am both present and very far away from here, somewhere in the oceans of my subconscious. I notice the thoughts that are circling in my mind and the emotions connected to them, observing them as I do the clusters of flowers that ripple in the breeze as I coast by. Around the corner, across the street, through uncharted back roads, turn at the sign I spin. With no particular destination in mind, I let my curiosity guide my handlebars. My fingers itch to make any slight movement, changing my direction. On my bike, I own the freedom to invent my route, to design my lesson. The time, the breeze, the sights and the smells are a gift. I know that when I get to my destination, I'll go about my day, addressing responsibilities, completing simple tasks, intaking information, and so on and on and on and on. But then I get back on my bike. And I feel that same thrill of discovering back streets and untrodden trails, of weaving in and out of traffic, of exploring familiar and unfamiliar routes and destinations. The time I spend on my bike provides me with an unparalleled and unique opportunity to be present in my world and to learn. And it is with the spirit that I look forward to my next journey.